everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swoosh, and today I wanted to talk to you about what is a gap. Again, I've discussed this before in many, many webinars, but just very basic definition of a gap is, a gap is a difference between the close and the open. Everything in the U.S. stock market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, and everything opens at 9.30 a.m. the next day, again, Eastern Time. But after 4 o'clock, there's something called the post market. And before 9.30 in the morning, there's something called the pre-market. During that time in the post-market and the pre-market, there are trades that occur and happen in stocks and the overall market ETFs. And when I say the market, I mean the SPY, which is the ETF for the S&P, the Diamonds, which is the ETF for the Dow, and the QQQs. Another ETF, and there are many other ETFs as well, but all of the stocks that you know of, the companies that you're familiar with that you train, they can have trades go on in the post and pre-market. That is when the gap is actually being created. Now, I personally do not trade that after hours. I never, never have. I've never had an interest in trading it, uh, but I use that information to analyze and create a plan of action for the particular trading day that I'm going to trade. Am I going to go long a stock? Am I going to short a stock? I look at the gap itself after the gap occurs. So I'm not predicting the gap itself. I am seeing the gap, waiting for the gap to happen in whatever stock symbol I'm looking at of the market, and then I will rate it. I rate it using my 26-point rating system. If the gap rates 20 points or more, then I'll take it in the direction of the gap. So again, there are bullish gaps and there are bearish gaps. Why? Because a stock can close at one price and open at a lower price, which would be a bearish gap, or a stock can close at one price and open at a higher price, which would be what? It would be a bullish gap. Again, you cannot go long every gap up and you can't short every gap down and you can't go long every gap down and you can't short every gap up. If it would be that easy to train, no one would ever lose any money in the market. So it is about analyzing and pinpointing and really being detailed, which is something that I'm very good at doing in reference to trading. So I'm very, very detailed by looking at 26 things on a daily chart to determine if I want to do that stock at all and if I do, how I want to play it. So if you'd like to learn more information about gaps, I am a gap expert. That is how I'm able to predict so well with such a high degree of accuracy where something's going to go after the gap. I teach my method in a class once a month. It is called the Golden Gap Course. The next class is January 29th and 30th. If you'd like more information, email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.